Today we'll optimize the shape of a gear to reduce its weight by more than 50% while maximizing its stiffness. We'll begin by assigning a material to our gear. And here, the gear, I've removed the teeth on the OD as well as the spline on the ID as it doesn't add anything to our optimization. So first I'm going to create some keep in zones for our optimization. So here I'm creating some bodies that will be used in just a moment to define areas where we do not want to remove any material. So we're going to keep that material on the OD and the ID. Next we'll go into topology optimization, which you can get to from the NX modeling application. And we're going to create a study for linear statics to maximize the stiffness. And then we'll work left to right on the ribbon. We've created our study. Let's create our design space. Here we'll select the body of our gear. Here you can see the material has already been inherited. Next we'll put in a shape constraint. And this will determine the shape of our optimized gear. And here, because we're going to be machining it with traditional methods, I'm going to put in an extrude along vector shape constraint in the Z direction. Next, we'll create our construction bodies to keep in the material on the OD and also keep in the material on the ID. Now we'll create an analysis constraint. So here we'll fix our gear on the ID and let's make sure that we select the face of our gear and not our construction body. So our gear was an earlier feature, so we'll select two. And the same thing for our analysis load. And here I'm going to create two loads. The first is going to be a torque which is a load on our gear. And we can specify the vector uh, being the axis of rotation and the point at the center of rotation. And then a torque value. And here we can put that in in whatever units we're comfortable. Now because we have a spiral bevel gear there's going to be an axial component to our load as well. So we'll put in another load, making sure we're selecting our design body. And we'll put that in the axial direction. And we'll put in 100 pounds. All right, next we'll put in some optimization constraints. The first being a maximum mass limit. And we wanted to reduce the mass by at least 50%. So let's put in a value of 0.27 pounds for our maximum mass limit. And we also want to ensure that we're not going to be violating our maximum stress limit. And here we'll set it as 90% of our ultimate tensile strength. At this point, we're ready to go ahead and run the optimization. We'll get a solve progress monitor and I'll be pausing the video here because it takes uh, several minutes to solve, but we can see in the elapsed time the total time that it takes to solve. And here it's about 15 minutes. All right, now that we've solved it, let's go ahead and hide our design body and we can see our optimized shape for our gear. We can also view our structural results for our linear static analysis. Most valuable probably is factor of safety. So here we can see we have a 7x factor of safety with the shape that we have. NX topology optimization enables you to quickly and easily create lightweight designs that meet your performance requirements 